Hello, we are going to talk about tip on Risk v The speaker is submitted by two person, Akira Tsukamoto, this is me, work for AIST, and Kunia Suzaki, work for Terragio and AIST. And we're going to start from talking about TEE and trusted application, how the TE works and what it is. And the next is T on how the T works on Risk Five, and then about tip, what is discussed and how is designed at IETF. Then we have a prototype of tip, and we started from um, initial prototype on ARM Cortex A, and then we poured it on Risk Five, and we're going to explain the details, and then going to the summary. Basic concept of TEE is CPU architecture have a way to run critical application, sometimes called a trusted application or enclave, and have a way to run TA in a separate place from the regular operating system, such as Linux, Windows, embedded OS, or anything. And popular CPU architecture have a way to run the TEE. And, TE and supporting TE hardware. For example, Intel has SGX, AMD SAV, and ARM Trust Zone. And also, RISC V has a PMP for running TE. And that's something we're going to talk in the next slide. So, the why, what is TE? TE requires both support from hardware and software. Now, we're going to talk about TE on RISC V. There are already TE implementation risk five. Many of them. Multizone from Hex Five, Sanctum from MIT, Timber Five from Grants University of Technology, MI6 from MIT, Keystone from UC Berkeley. In our project we decided to use Keystone. The biggest reason is we need to have compatibility with its other CPU especially for the IETF, but also in our project for the development purpose. Other CPU was using MMU, so I had to use TE, which uses MMU. So we, this, and that was the biggest reason using Keystone. And also it's open source project and all, all really actively development. And which is very important. And it has a modular design to add our own feature. This is the TE on Risk Five. Basically, TE on Risk Five is we are using Keystone. UC Berkeley Keystone Enclave project is doing a great job. Please see the detail at the left lower link. And this is going to be two minutes or three minutes summary of the T on the Keystone on Risk Five. So on the right side. Risk Five has a PMP feature, ISA. So, what 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 is PMP? Is oh, it's similar to historical ba bank swapping memory address. So it's separating Linux and trust up trusted application with the hardware. Basic concept of PMP is software in one bank is not able to able to access the other bank. Is the what PMP is providing? It's not that simple, but if I try to oversimplify it, that's, that's how it goes. On the left side is how the Keystone booting and how the Keystone execute the enclave or, or you call it trusted application from the um, Linux. So it starts from bootloader and then it, it's, it's going to run Keystone version of secure monitor, which runs on M mode and then on S mode, the Linux kernel will be running, and the Linux kernel will have a device driver to execute TEE and on the different PMP region. This is the how simplified version of the explanation. And why we need trusted application? The fundamentally is slide. Target devices, smartphone, RAT, or H device, whatever you call it. And all the uh, definition of edge device and IoT, many people have a different kind of the definition. But fundamentally, what it is is in the 
um, product is network attached storage, NAS. Um, many people is using as a backup storage or in the home. Edge router, Wi-Fi router, automotive infotainment unit, like what Tesla has in dashboard. Set, cable TV has a set-top box. There's a surveillance camera is one of the uh, products. And multifunction printer and all those stuff. But all those devices of the common feature is they need a color creation and handles critical application on the, their own device, not everything on the, the data center. And the next one is cloud server running guest OS. This, this is different way to use the DE, but definitely going, um, going to be important in, in the future um, data center because AWS, Azure, uh, Google Cloud, many people hosting their own uh, application and operating, they do not want to see the data center being accessing the guest OS. And what TE really does, if it's a payment system, it's a credit card, PayPal, and if it's DRM, it's a video streaming, Netflix, cable TV, they need it. And authentication device, authenticating device, mobile, uh, any of a smartphone, automotive, car, or insurance system is they need authentication. And that's, this is the usage of TE, typical usage. And also TE is used as a updating firmware in secure fashion from the remote server. We're going to talk about TAM and other words in later slides. And also confidential cloud computing is something I explain in with the data center with running guest OS. This is the introduction slide for the TIP. So we, and we need this, we need some kind of protocol with uh, defined by authorized organization. And that's what we're doing in the, at IETF. So this is the portion from the draft of the TIP at IETF. And pretty much the same what we've been talking about TE explaining in this slide. First sentence is talking about EA to how to install, execute, and delete. And second sentence is talking about TE, what it does. And third sentence is talking about what is critical application or test trusted application or enclave. This slide is not written in any draft or any material, but it's very important. The reason is there's many different vendor, company, organization, or developer engineer who want, who are going to be interact each other and wants to confirm their own interest is being secured. For TA developer could be many, many the company Device manufacturer could be many different company, many different server or many different company or organization who likes to host the TAM and they all need to confirm they, their own interest is going to be satisfied. So this is the what we really need to do in the TIP. This is the, going to be explaining the each component in the TIP. So who's the real component who handled everything is the TIP agent in the right side in the diagram. First, app one and TA one is pair and it's going to be installed from TAM or some other way. And if it goes to the reach to the device, app one will talk to TIP broker and ask the TAM to install the TA into the TEE. In this diagram, it's called trusted area. In current TIP draft, all the trigger happened from device side. However, to make the explanation easier to understand, I'm going to talk as if it's the trigger is happening from the TAM side. So TAM will send the message to the TIP broker and TIP broker will relay the message to the TIP agent and then TIP agent will verify the signature of the message itself, whether it's from real TAM and if it's okay, then it's going to verify the signature whether the TA is the real TA. And if it's okay, then it's going to install to the secure stores, uh, storage in the device. And the next, that's install. And the next is how to execute. So the TAM will send a message or, or, uh, or TIP broker will ask the message to the TAM to, to, so for the TAM to 
um, initiate the execution. So Tam will send the message again to the TIP broker and the TIP broker will re relay the message to TIP agent. And if the message is uh, verified that it's the real message from the TAM server, then, and then it's going to execute the TA in the TEE. And the same way goes to the, for the delete. And that's very simplified way how it works in a TIP. And there's many draft involving TIP in the um, IETF. TIP working group currently there's already have three draft and need to have a little bit of introduction from somebody who understanding um, how the three draft uh, coordinate each other. So TIP architecture draft itself is only explaining the yellow component, what those component will do. They only talk about the role. role. What TAM does, what TIP Rogue does, what app does, what TIP agent does, what TA does. And also TIP protocol draft, it's, it's in the blue, is explaining, uh, defining the binary format between the TAM and the TIP agent. That's all it does. And the uh, TIP over HTTP draft is uh, defining how the interaction does between the TAM and this diagram is TAM and the TIP broker. And the uh, TIP broker message will be the payload of the HTTP packet. And that's the uh, green portion. Okay. And there's a few things uh, assumed in the draft. So the, in the device, EE area, called trusted area and the hardware itself, device vendor would like to verify whether it's authenticate, not a clone device where, or it's not tampered. And TA developer who is going to make uh, any kind of T TA appli trusted application would like to verify the TA. And the TAM is trusted by TA developer or TA vendor or device vendor or, or mobile operator or cable company or whatever it is who wants to control the TA. And they could be hosted separately. It doesn't have to be one tab. TA developer could have their own TTAM. Um, device uh, manufacturer could have their own TAM. And a mobile um, cable company could have their own TAM too. Now we're going to implementation of the TIP in our prototype. This was the implementation started somewhere from late 2017, a few years ago. And it's based on the old TIP architecture draft. So it's slightly different than I, a little bit I explained in the previously, but um, basically the basic cons concept is not that different. When you started the implementation prototyping of TIP on ARM dev board, specifically it was, it's called 96 board. It was running Cortex-A CPU and we have, a, we had an OPT running and then we had o o OTRP TA in the TE and OTRP broker and TAM. And OPT has a T TIP supplicant, which is a helper uh, application for handles TA. So there's a SPTA and some of the word is uh, from the old draft. So this is, that's the one of the reason it's called OTRP instead of TIP because in the early draft was using JSON format and the Jose for the encryption and verifying um, keys and certificate. And then this was working, to, was able to uh, install and execute and delete TAM hosting with Node.js. And then in this draft, it's called T SPTA, but TA is going to be sent it to OTRP broker. And then OTRP broker will handling HTTP packet and then it was sending to OTRP TA and storing the SPTA into the secure storage. 
And then next message will be from the TAM will be sending from OTRP broker to OTRP TA and then executing the SPTA inside the secure storage. And then next message from TAM is uh, from the to the OTRP broker to OTRP TA and deleting the uh, SPTA in the TEE. Now this is the main topic. It took a very long time to come to the main topic. In the previous prototyping, I selected about 30 important API from G Global Platform API, which was using on Opti and implementing a wrapper on the Keystone runtime to have the about 30 API on, on the Keystone to workable on the risk five. It made us easier to port the TIP prototype to risk five also our sample uh, ta called hello ta and hello app here on the risk five any single code inside the hello ta we did not have to change it to run it on risk five and also many things have changed during the initial prototype json format was uh, changed to seaboard and jose was changed to jose and what's the main difference of the JSON and Seaboard is JSON is regular JSON format on the, used on the internet. It's all written by text format, but the size is not that small. Seaboard is a one way, it's a very efficient way to converting the metadata or text format into the binary and vice versa. And that's the main difference. So we have to change some of the library. The below green portion, it is developed by AIST and Terragio. It is under development. It's not open source yet, but they would like to open source in the future. And we're using QMU, RISC-V RV64GC with the SV39 virtual memory. And at the end mode, original a risk five using SM with but this one is using Keystone customized version of SM and running an M mode. And S mode is running kernel Linux kernel on Linux side and Keystone runtime on TE side. And U mode from the left side is T broker app is running and also we have a hello app. It's going to be paired with a hello TA and the TE side is T Agent TA and hello TA and tip agent TA and hello TA and risk five is separated um, execution in different PMP region. That's how it is, how the TA handle in the risk five different than other CPU. And the tip agent TA is the most uh, important f feature. You need to handle Seabor and Kose at the moment, we're still handling JSON and Jose, and that's we are starting with, with the testing. To handle uh, many uh, type of protocol, we're using a libwebsocket for JSON uh, handling, and embed TLS for Ho Ho Jose and Jose, and QC board for the C board. And hello T is pretty much the same code from what we were running on ARM initial prototype. Well, global platform API, we didn't have to change anything. Okay. And in this the diagram, it doesn't show other IETF working group activity. And this tip to be perfectly working, we need remote attestation working and we need a we need a metadata format for the representing EA binary and metadata format for the binary format TA is discussed in the suit working group and also remote attestation is uh, discussed in rats working group what's remote attestation here in the tip is TA in about three slides earlier from remotely there Device vendor will like to verify the device is not cloned and TE area is not co compromised. And TA developer will like to confirm it's not compromised. And those features are discussed in the RATS working group right now.
This is the summary. We introduced TE concept and uh, importance of TE for critical application and operation of sensitive data. And yes, most of the mo uh, modern CPU architecture supports some kind of TE. And how the TE on Risk Five and and uh, the abstract of the Keystone. Yes, ITF designing and standardizing TIP for unified way of controlling TA and different device and server. And here the word of controlling means managing, uh, install, execute, and delete. And relationship of three TA draft to understand if you're going to read the draft and the current development of TIP on Risk Five. what we have been doing. The having GPAPI uh, made us easier to port the prototype from ARM to RISC V. Yes, I think that's all. And these are the links if for the person who's going to deep dive. And thank you for listening.